Hey guys, girls, what's up? I got a new tune for you and it's called So What's Your Impression? It's real easy. It's based on the chord changes to So What, which are only two chord changes and we're gonna go over those right coming up. All right, let's get right to it. So here's the tune. Go ahead and play along. Check it out. Okay, so like I said earlier, this tune is based on the tune to, or the chord changes rather, to So Wet by Miles Davis and Impressions by John Coltrane. Both are AABA 32 bar form. They're also based on just two chords. So the A section is the key of E minor for us in B flat. So E minor is easy. It's E Dorian minor. Generally jazz players tend to gravitate towards the Dorian minor scale. All you need to think of is the major scale a whole step below. So what's a whole step below E minor? D major. So let's play that scale in quarter notes. One, two, three. <laughs> D major, two sharps. Now play that scale from E to E. Don't change any of the notes. Still has two sharps. Here we go, starting on E. One, two, ready, play. Key of E minor, okay? E minor seven or the E Dorian minor scale. That's it. You don't have to make it any more complicated than that. So when you start to improvise, just use that scale for now. Mix it up. Don't worry about how you sound. Maybe you sound great. Maybe you don't think you sound that great. Doesn't matter. Don't judge it. Have fun. And I always, uh, just as a side note, I always recommend playing along with the iReal Pro or some sort of play along. I have the tune on YouTube. It's under play along for So What and Impressions. I have one, I think, at 200 beats per minute, another one at 120 beats per minute. So you can play my song, which has a downloadable PDF at jefflewistrumpet.com. So go be sure to download that, play along. Okay, now, like I said, getting back, the A section is in E minor. The bridge goes up a half step to F minor. Well, if it's F Dorian minor, what's a whole step below F? E flat major. So let's play your E flat major scale. Three flats, B, E, and A. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. E flat major. Now let's play from F to F with the same notes. Don't change any of the notes. It's still three flats. Here we go. One, two, Ready? F Dorian minor. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that. If you're new to improvisation, the most complicated thing is following the form and knowing when the bridge happens and being able to, being able to feel eight bar sequences. All right, that takes some getting used to, that takes some practice but I'm sure you're going to get it. Don't sweat it. All right, that's it for this video. 
go to the uh, YouTube site or, you know, play with some friends. So get started improvising, have fun, use the two chords, use the two scales, try to keep your place, try to come up with some cool ideas, do your best. I'm going to have some other parts to this video, but I wanted to start with something easy. It's an easy melody. It's an easy tempo. It's a generally kind of an easy tune. Let's face it, the theory of jazz is pretty simple. It's the application that can be super complicated. All right, coming up with a nice solo that sounds really original and musical and swings is one of the most difficult things to do. In fact, playing a modal tune like this, modal meaning staying in one key or two keys for the entire tune can be pretty complicated because you run out of ideas pretty quickly. Anyway, Go ahead, start soloing, have fun. And remember, it's jazz. Tell your story. Everybody has a different story. Miles had a story. Coltrane had a story. I have a story. You have a story. Everybody has a story. You know, don't try to be Miles. Don't try to be Clifford Brown. You be you, because there's only one you. Who would want to sound like Clifford Brown? He's already done Clifford Brown. You do you. I'll catch you in the next video.